Hello Leos, it's Pride OG and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign, the lovely fire sign of Leo, the second fire sign of the zodiac cycle, okay? And I believe you guys are the fifth sign out of 12, so yeah. If your birthday is between July 22nd and August 22nd, you are a lovely Leo, okay? The lions and the lionesses stand up. Urgh. All right, anyways, y'all, um, <laughs> I hope you guys are excited to be here just as I am. I am bringing you guys a message, a general and collective message for your sign. So take whatever resonates for you and leave behind what does not resonate for you, okay, for another Leo, right? Yes, in the event that this reading is resonating for you, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. That shows me and the YouTube algorithm that you are excited about this content and you want to see more of it. So yes, and it also shows me that you are supporting me. It's a symbol of support and I appreciate you guys so much. And I'm here to support you as well and bring you the most clear and accurate messages. Now let's see, starting off with the significant number, we're gonna see what the energy is given around Leo. Okay, okay, okay. We got number four is giving four seasons. Yeah, all right, four corners. The number four could be very prominent to some of you. All, um, you might be the fourth child or you might have four kids. You might be a child of four. Four, four, four. You might be seeing that a lot, that angel number repeatedly. Also, shout out to anybody whose birthday is on August 4th. And with this energy I'm seeing here, April could be a very prominent month for you expanding in... Um, with the spiritual realm because this purple energy i feel like i don't know you're going to be wearing a new crown here i'm feeling like somebody is going to be in a higher position of status and i'm also getting royalty energy so yeah i don't know iv i'm thinking of that because y'all know the roman numerals for four is iv so somebody's name might be ivy as well watching this right now shout out to my leos out there with the name of ivy or if that's your middle name or your mom's name, Ivy is just coming to my mind. But here, this is the number, the number four is the number of stability, order, right? Foundations, planning, and stationary. So right now you might be wanting to get your life in order and things are seeming to be coming into order for you within the, the month of April or within the next four weeks. Maybe even as soon as four days, but that four is definitely standing out prominently. I feel like Spirit is asking you to make some plans, some very solid foundation plans and act on those, right? Get things into order right now, because once things are in order, then you're going to be able to really um, feel stable with your approach. All right, so let's get into this basis of this reading for my lovely Leos. What's the basis of this reading for Leo? We got let go, Leo, there's something that you are letting go or something that you have recently let go of. You're either needing to let go of something or you have already let go of something very important. And then we got variance. So this is all about um, variety here. I'm definitely seeing there's a major sense of um, difference going on around you. Like the people around you might vary in energy your energy might be varying too, going from highs to lows, but Spirit is definitely saying, let go, or no, let go. There's something that you need to let go of. If it's an old past perception of yourself or a person here, there's something that you need to let go of that I feel like you're carrying, you're carrying too much of something and it might be like making you feel a little bit unstable. It's just like you're carrying too many responsibilities or... um carrying something from the past like a, a thought form like something that you thought about yourself or like a misunderstanding or a fallout between you and someone but let go is what spirit is saying you know what it is that you need to let go of or who and then we got sensitivity showing up here so you are a very sensitive soul and i feel like tuning into your senses is very important right now i see a rose Rose in Harlem just came to my mind by um, Tiana Taylor. I don't know if you guys ever heard that song, A Rose in Harlem. But definitely seeing this rose energy. I'm seeing romance too. A new sensitive, um, 
a new love. I feel like romance coming into your life as well, too. You loving yourself. I see you buying yourself some sort of roses or receiving some sort of flowers from someone. We got soul writing. So you might really need to write how you are feeling um, in a journal or in a diary here. Writing out how your soul is feeling, right? Tap into your emotions right now. But I do see with the sensitivity, whatever it is that you're letting go of, you're letting go of something which is bringing you into greater levels of sensitivity. It's like you're able to pick up on subtle cues and emotions unlike before. Like you probably weren't able to do it before because you were holding on to so much baggage or something very intense. But now your sensitivity levels are increasing and it's like you can feel when someone really loves you or when somebody's right for you and when they're not. It's giving... um you know, somebody telling you that you're too sensitive, you know they're not the one for you. I'm too sensitive? What? I have senses. We all got senses. We need to be able to feel our senses and acknowledge them, right? And somebody who's out of touch with their senses is like, that's a numb individual. That's somebody that you're probably not going to be able to penetrate or get through to. So be mindful of that. Watch out for that. Um, but it says heightened intuition and compassion. So I feel like your intuition is on point right now and you're moving in a more compassionate manner. It's like you're letting go of that negativity in the past of being mad at people and you're being more compassionate and understanding. That's the energy that is going to um, enhance your, your, your power of attractability, like making you more attractive as a person. Follow your intuition, definitely. Make sure that you are following your intuition. Sensitivity. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Let go. Spirit, let go. What is Leo letting go of or has let go of? Let go. What is what is it? Renewal. We got renewal here. So it's definitely giving the energy of letting go of the old and coming into the new. It's like letting go of that old version of yourself. It's time for you to stop looking at yourself as who you were in the past. You're not that person anymore. You are now new. And every moment you are a new version of yourself. So acknowledge that. I do see the energy of coming out of like the winter into the spring here. And you know that's the phase that we're in right now. Actually, in the month of March, we're coming out of the winter and coming into spring. So it's like you're marching into the spring as a new version of yourself. You're being renewed. It's like... Starting over all again, starting over fresh. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. But as you can see, this woman is like meditating too. So she's in a really calm state of mind and connected with the world outside, connected with nature. So this could be what it is that you need to be doing at this point in time. Sitting out in the sun, connecting with nature, allowing yourself to be renewed. We got quests. You are on a quest right now. You are on a journey. You can choose to go back or forward. As you can see, there's two options being presented here in this image. And there's a child coming up to this woman. So I feel like on your quest, you are like um, someone that's very experienced. And I feel like you're an example for the immature people or someone who is more childish than you or even the children that's around you at this point in time. Somebody can have a child too, and it's like you wanna. I don't know. I'm getting the energy of like a single parent, though. I'm getting the single parent energy where it's like you had to make the choice to let go of your baby mama or baby father so that you can move on into brighter days. And it's like you're doing it for your child. But I do see here with the quest that somebody, like a child, or somebody could be like asking you questions like questioning you definitely y'all know kids stay asking questions oh my god why are you like this why did you do this why did you do that right but i feel like ultimately it's up to you to answer those questions or not you always have the choice and the option but will you choose to be a victim of the past and hold on to that past perception of you or are you willing to move forward into the unknown into something greater potentially better and greater for you and your child we got despondent showing up here so i'm getting the energy of somebody being very much um like low energy like not feeling too excited about life i'm getting that energy of you just not 
responding to life in the way that you should be. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I had to make sure my camera was still on because my last video for y'all cut off at like five minutes. But yeah, despondence, this is about, I'm definitely seeing pregnant energy. You see how this woman is pregnant, but I see somebody could be like jealous. Somebody could have been mad at you for getting pregnant. Mmm, Leo. But here I'm seeing with this despondence energy, it's like opening yourself up to looking at life from a more positive perspective. But I do see that something has got you like a little bit depressed or off energetically here on your quest. I wanna see what this despondence card says. It says, by taking action, I found the road out. So there's definitely some sort of action that you're taking or needing to take to help you elevate your energy because you might be feeling a little bit helpless. But it's like you got to accept your circumstances for what they are at this point in time and changes on the horizon. But the, it requires some sort of action from you. Like you need to get up and start to do something different instead of sitting around and moping and soaking and this energy because definitely i feel like here somebody could be sitting in their energy feeling like they're hopeless like not moving forward on their quest let go let go let go and let flow y'all ever heard that saying before let go and let flow yeah that's what you need to be doing right now leo let go and let flow you are where you are for a reason and it's all about you maintaining and finding your finding and maintaining your stability in the moments. We got acceptance showing up in reverse. So there's something that you're having a hard time accepting about yourself or a decision that you made. And other people around you might not be accepting you either. Once again, if you have had a child or something like that, and other people are mad at you for having that child with a specific person or at a certain age. It's okay, but learning to accept yourself is what's going to reflect out in the external world here. Accepting yourself, even though you might be feeling a little bit incomplete, it's like we are all incomplete. Nobody's a complete individual. We're expansive beings. Nobody's perfect. If we were perfect, there would be no room for growth, right? So I do feel like there's an energy, a slight energy of perfectionism going on here. You might be wanting things to be 100% perfect or wanting yourself to be seen as perfect and accepted by everybody, but that's just not going to happen. Um, everybody's not going to accept you right away necessarily because everybody hasn't accepted themselves, right? So you learning to accept yourself, though, is going to lead to you accepting other people and which is going to make you a more acceptable individual where people are going to be able to accept you even more now because they feel that level of acceptance that you carry within yourself. You've accepted yourself. So therefore they have no choice but to accept you. Like that's the energy that is given. But so yeah, pay attention to that Leo. If you have been having a hard time with some accept, like if you've been having acceptance issues, we got vanity. Yep. So I do feel like somebody is comparing their lifestyle to other people's here. And it's getting in the way of your abundance. Abundance is showing up. It's like you feel like you're lacking something. You're worried about not having what everybody else has. We see this vanity card here is the energy of, look at these luxurious people. And then the spiritual man coming here to advise them that life is not all about more, bigger, and better. Um, it's about learning to accept who you are, where you are, and working with what it is that you have. And not feeling like you're worthless. Or like you you're, you you have no point here, like you're feeling pointless here. And I feel like this could be because of other people. It could be other people around you that are making you feel like you're not worthy or like you, like making it hard for you to accept yourself because of the things that you do or don't have. But you are worthy and I accept you and I love you and I hope you grow to start doing it for yourself as well we got sexuality so somebody's sexuality i feel like ooh, a new version of you is being brought about in terms of your sexuality it's like you're embracing your sexuality for what it is some of my people might be lgbtq 
um, or pansexual, whatever your sexuality is, I do see that you're embracing it. A new version of yourself is sprouting. Um, feeling sexy too. I don't know. I'm getting this energy of you feeling good. Like you look good. This new renewed version of you though. This new renewed version of you is definitely a much more sexy, attractive version of you. Salt and pepper is here. Salt and pepper shaking like a salt shaker. Shake it. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. But no, for real though, with your sexuality coming out here, I feel like embracing your sexuality. Um, let go and embrace yourself. Whatever your sexual preference is, don't let other people sway you away from that or make you feel bad for that. But here I see romance though. So there could be a new spark in your romance, something that um, in terms of like your yeah, like a romantic sexual relationship with someone. Um, but you being able to express yourself, being more intimate here is needed. This new renewal of energy is definitely going to have you feeling more intimate, have you feeling more um, sexy, definitely expressive, being able to express your yourself on that on a different level here. We got versatility here, versatility, Jean Grey. So definitely giving great energy. I feel like somebody is not able to, uh, <laughs> somebody is definitely bisexual. I'm getting that energy, but it's like, you might not be wanting to embrace it. Okay. You see how this woman got two options here? She got two options. This versatility is showing that too. It's like you can be versatile. You can switch between both. Like you're not just a one trick pony here. But I feel like you might not be allowing yourself to be versatile. You might not be tapping into the other options that are available to you. Jean Grey, this card says technique, skill, and diversity. So definitely giving a very diverse energy you embracing the diversity of life period um everybody's not this is not for everybody when i'm talking about the lgbt thing but for you in some way shape or form there's like something where you need to be able to see um the difference in not only you but in life like all things in life are diverse nothing is 100 the same even when you go outside and look at the trees no one tree is the same is exactly the same as another and the same even with twins like if you've seen identical twins it's still always something slightly different about that other twin so this is just about you embracing diversity the diversity within you um maybe switching up your technique on your journey like on your quest maybe you might need to switch something up like Stop being this one trick pony and show your skills. But yeah, versatile. I'm definitely getting verse energy. Somebody's a verse. Just giving top bottom verse. Okay, <laughs> Leo. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know why. I feel like somebody uh, somebody's child could be asking them questions about their sexuality. You might not be wanting to open up about that. But handle it. Answer that in a very skillful way, I feel. You want to be honest with your children. But give them based on their capacity to receive. Like, you don't want to give too much information. We got underneath despondence, we have Remy Ma, courage. So, yeah. Um, having the courage to stand up for yourself. Having the courage to push through these negative energies within you, these judgmental people. I feel like you could be afraid to make some sort of move here when it comes to you uh, calling somebody out or speaking up for yourself, standing up for yourself. The Remy Ma card says conviction, bravery, defense, challenges, and resentment. So definitely you want to release any resentment that you're holding on to. And try not to be too defensive, but I get it. You got to be able to protect yourself and stand up for yourself. So um, be mindful of how you defend yourself. But um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy of somebody not, not being brave enough to defend themselves or stand up for themselves. You might be feeling helpless in a situation. 
somebody got you feeling helpless like you can't do anything about the circumstance but you really can you got to find that courage within to get up and do something inspiration wanted to jump out too with lauren hill in reverse so definitely feeling like your inspiration to the world you're supposed to be but you might be afraid you were feeling like feeling uninspired that's definitely the energy i'm getting you're just feeling uninspired because of something something going on here something going on in this world got you feeling uninspired it could be like what's going on in the news it could be like global politics We got fight showing up in reverse. So definitely um, there has been a fight for you to accept yourself. I feel like you've been giving up. I'm getting this energy of giving up and not really fighting for what's most important to you. And it's okay. Choose your battles wisely, but don't fight yourself here. That's the energy I'm feeling. Don't fight yourself. And there's no need to fight other people either when they don't accept you. It's like, okay, you don't accept me. That's fine. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. I'm not going to sit here and allow myself to get tense because you're having a hard time accepting me. Also, I feel like there could be some sort of conflicts that you're dealing with that's hard for you to accept at this point in time. Um, people might be even jealous of you or vice versa. You could be feeling some sense of jealousy as well because um, of what other people have and what you don't have. But if you want to relieve this tension out of, you, uh, out of your body, you got to be able to accept yourself for who you are, where you are, and know that you can have whatever it is that you want the moment that you let go of these these toxic energies that have been stopping you from getting it, if it's people or if it's just yourself. But I feel like somebody is definitely fighting to be accepted. Instead of you just learning to accept yourself, it ain't no need for you to fight it. You don't need to fight it. You don't need to argue with nobody for them to accept you. Either they're going to do it or they're not. And most people who can't accept you are people who can't accept themselves. So we got self-love showing up here and it's showing up in reverse. It's Lizzo. Somebody could be definitely over uh, overweight. There could be weight issues. Let's not just say overweight, but somebody could be dealing with weight issues, either very skinny or um, very thick, very voluptuous. But um, here it's definitely saying that it's time for you to love yourself. It's time for you to love yourself and stop comparing yourself to other people in this external world. There's always going to be somebody that has something that you don't have in this world. Here with this vanity card, though, I feel like somebody is feeling very worthless because of the things that you have achieved like, or haven't achieved, like your lack of achievement here. Like I say, it could be you feeling overweight and because you see so many other skinny, fit people in your life you feel as if um, you don't hold any true weight or like you're not valuable or it's hard for you to accept yourself and how you are coming. But I love you and you, I want you to love you too. I really need you to start to love yourself and stop fighting yourself. Stop beating up on yourself. That's the energy I'm getting here. Your attitude, aligning your attitude. It's like your Foxy and Brown. Shout out to my melanated queens out there. But even if you don't have melanin in your... Uh, well, all of us have melanin. Some people just have more than others. But I'm seeing here with this self-love, definitely it's hard in a society where you're told that black is bad or black people get the bad rep. I'm definitely getting that energy. It's so super hard for people to love themselves when society is telling you that who you are is bad or not enough. People have done that to Lizzo a lot. And like they tell her for her being the weight that she is, she can't show her body or she can't wear certain things. She can't like, what? No, love yourself regardless. And look at how much success this woman has seen because, oh, excuse me. She's chose to love herself. She has chosen to love herself. Let me check and make sure my camera's still on y'all. Cause I'd be mad if I was still talking for nothing. Okay, it's still going, period. But yeah, Self-love, loving yourself, knowing that you are worthy, you are valuable. Even if you don't have as much as the next person, it's not always about being the biggest, the baddest, the bestest. 
It's about being the best version of yourself, knowing that you always have room to get better, to grow, to expand, and not getting so wrapped up in the vanity of the world, thinking that just because you don't have a certain car by a certain age or living in a, in a certain neighborhood or you don't have a certain type of wigs or clothes or shoes that you're, you, you shouldn't love yourself. And anybody that's around you that's living that vain lifestyle, you really might need to separate from them. So be sensitive to those energies. Pick up on those energies of people around you and separate from that vanity. All right, first card from the tarot. We got the star card showing up in reverse. You are a star, shine your light, but you're not feeling like it. Spirit is trying to renew your sense of faith or hope. It's like, be hopeful, be inspirational, be inspired, be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to show your true colors here. I do feel you could be dealing with an Aquarius here in a relationship with an Aquarius. They could be very, um, I don't know, I'm getting this energy of this Aquarius could be either very depressed or just negative. What else we got? We got the seven of pentacles showing up. Seven of pentacles in reverse shows me that there's something that you are not dedicating enough patience and time into here on your quest. It, within yourself, it's about you not valuing yourself or not seeing the value in what it is that you're doing here. The seven of pentacles is all about taking the time to plant seeds and nurture your garden, nurture yourself, put the time, effort, and energy into something that will reap benefit later on something that you're not seeing the benefit in right now therefore i feel somebody's giving up it's like somebody's either not using their skills because you feel like it's pointless this could also be the energy of a capricorn you might have capricorn i mean um not cap i'm getting earth sign energy capricorn taurus or virgo that you're dealing with this person might not be wanting to put in the work that's necessary or they could be very impatient not wanting to invest time or energy. This could be your your vibe as well too. So be mindful of that. Be mindful um, that it is necessary for you to go out into that garden every day and make sure that things are right for you to check in on yourself, to put that energy and effort into yourself that you are expecting other people to put into you. It's kind of like nobody's gonna be willing to invest in you if you're not willing to invest in yourself, right? So yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. We also got the Knight of Swords showing up here too. This is giving me more confirmation though that you are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, heavy on the Aquarius. Somebody who is very impatient, somebody who is impulsive. They rush into things before they sit there and think about it and they put themselves in tough situations that they don't have to be in. Also, they can be very volatile too. I'm getting like a mentally abusive, verbally abusive, or even just physically with this Knight of Swords, this is somebody that will come through and, I don't know, slice a throat. That's the vibe that I'm feeling with this Knight of Swords. And then we got the Tower card showing up in reverse. So you're afraid to change something. You're afraid to accept something. You're trying to avoid it because you don't want to fight here. I feel like somebody, it's like you feel like you're going to have to fight this person to get them out of your life. You're feeling hopeless, like they're not going nowhere. I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like somebody that's very abusive that you might need to get a restraining order on or get your family and round up the one, <laughs> round up your family members and I don't know. But definitely getting this energy of something coming crashing down. But it's like, also you could have avoided a situation here too with this tower card showing up in reverse. This is you um, kind of like dodging a bullet. So Spirit is definitely trying to give you a heads up here that this tower moment is very important for you to pay attention to. Something is about to come crashing down. Something that doesn't have a very stable foundation. It's like when you build love off of lust or trauma bonding with someone. When you connect with someone because of the trauma that you guys have been through versus the love that you guys have experienced and want to experience. That's typically how we build friendships and, and friend groups and even relationships. We see somebody that's been through the same hurt and pain as us. And we think coming together with this person is going to make us stronger. But really it doesn't because two broken people aren't going to be able to fix themselves in a relationship. So yeah, that's for somebody. But I'm seeing here with this tower moment is like kind of get away while you can and get prepared 
for this uprooting because I do feel like the rug is going to be swept from under somebody's feet very soon. And you want to be mindful of how you move forward. Don't just rush into anything. Be logical. Like, be smart mentally with your decisions. Be mindful of how you are communicating with this person. And be mindful of how they're communicating with you. Definitely getting that energy of somebody telling you you're too sensitive. But yeah, we got the sun card showing up in reverse. This is definitely um, some sort of delay achievements. Your achievements being delayed. You're just feeling like you're going through a dark time here. But the sun is always on the other end of those clouds. Even on the rainy and cloudy days here, the sun is there. And um, yeah, somebody's definitely dealing with a Capricorn as well too. This king of pinnacles showing up in reverse. This is somebody who's very like stubborn, stuck in their ways exploitative like somebody that's really exploitative i don't know like they're trying to exploit you or get what they can get out of you but don't really want to give back into you yeah definitely getting a stingy money hungry greedy energy here or somebody that's just going through some sort of financial hardships but they're used to having money so them going through this financial hardship is kind of making them like just so locked in on money like they're not even thinking about the true value of life they just want to get money and they'll do it however and whatever way that it's going to get the money, they're going to do it, even if it's unethical. So that's the vibe that I'm feeling here. And that might be your energy, too. So just be mindful of that, especially with this vanity energy showing up here. I feel like it's like this King of Pentacles, um, especially in reverse, associates himself with luxury and money so much to the point where it's like if you don't have it, you feel less valuable. You feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you're less than of a human being just because your financial situation is a certain way here. So this could be, like I said, someone else in your energy. It could be a, uh, a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, a male that's older, more mature-like male in their, in their 30s, 40s, or even beyond, like a father figure here for somebody, or a boyfriend, husband. But yeah, I do see you could have had a child with this person too. Definitely getting that energy because the sun card showed up. The sun card in reverse. So it's like, yeah. And you might be having a hard time loving that child because of this person. I don't know why I'm feeling that for some people, but um, that's not going to be for everybody. The sun card though is definitely giving me the energy of like a depression, like... You're going through this dark phase in your life where you just are feeling really sad. Um, this is why it's super important for you to love yourself, nurture yourself at this point in time, and kind of separate yourself from the outlook of the world and people around you. Um, find that enthusiasm again within yourself. Try not to be overly confident too, because this energy could be somebody who is like cocky. I'm getting this energy with the sun card, someone that is very, very, very cocky. So you want to be sensitive to those energies. Like, watch out for those people that's bringing that energy into your life. Now, I'm going to pull one affirmation card for y'all. And I'm going to end this reading out. I hope you guys have been resonating with it on some level. But I do feel like this negative time period is... is go You're going to overcome this once you start to love yourself. When you start to take the time to cherish yourself and embrace yourself and accept yourself, the clouds will clear up. And the sun will come shine through on you again and through you. Um, let's see what this Lizzo card is saying real quick. I want to see it says self-esteem, beauty, acceptance, and self-care. So definitely making sure that you're taking care of yourself. And that's what's going to boost your self-esteem, telling yourself that you're beautiful, looking for the beauty inside of you, not just externally, because really beauty goes beyond the skin. It's about your character. Once you know that you have a good character and that you love yourself and you're nice to people, that makes you beautiful in itself. No matter what you look like on the external world, you're in, in the external world, everybody's perception of you is going to be different. Some people are going to think you look cute. Some people are going to think you look ugly. That's their prerogative. That's based on their perception of the world and what they think beauty is. But beauty goes beyond the skin. Beauty is about your character and how you treat yourself, how you treat others. Not just because of what they have or don't have. You know, a lot of us in this world are nice to people who got money. But then somebody who's like poor homeless on the street, we treat them like they're dirt or crap. Or will be nice to somebody that looks good physically because they got a nice facial structure or a nice body. 
but then you're rude to somebody who's over like really skinny or fat or no like we, we can't do that stop being vain no more vanity why am i here in tokyo vanity too that's my best friend that's my best friend you better Leo, you better. Oh, y'all got two cards and patience showed up at the bottom of the deck. This is something that you're going to have to be very patient with yourself about. This is not something that you can rush. You tapping into this level of self-love, you accepting yourself, you becoming this new, renewed version of yourself is going to take time. This is not like an overnight thing that you can just do one time. Tell yourself you're beautiful once and wow, all of a sudden you're back. Mm -mm. It's something that has to be done consecutively. This is what that seven of pentacles was telling me. You doing something consistently, being consistent with something to the point where you start to see results. But it does require patience. And we got worthiness and good things to come. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of good things coming your way and you are worthy of it. You might be telling yourself that you're not, but you are. You might not be feeling like you're worthy of it, but you are. It's a lot of good things coming your way. Um, the good things to come. Oh, you might be getting a new car too. I see somebody could be being gifted a new car or like gifted um, an opportunity to travel somewhere. Somebody could be giving you like um, offering you out on a trip to go somewhere. But we got good things to come. There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general conviction of not peeking under the wrapping paper. But they will show up when the time is just right. And that's when I remember how much fun it is to be surprised. So it's kind of like, you know, you're not going to see um, all of the groundwork taking place, right? But you're you're going to be surprised when it does finally pop up. I feel like it's giving the energy of not knowing what it is that you got, but then out of nowhere, um, you're going to start to, you're going to see something that's going to give you some hope throughout this experience to keep pushing forward. But good things are coming. And even though you might not be seeing them right now, just know that the universe, aka God, has a very mysterious way of surprising and delighting us. As long as you are staying in alignment and loving yourself, loving your life, accepting yourself. Then we got worthiness. So this is definitely giving you the energy of you are worth it, Leo. You are worth it. You, are, you need to value yourself and understand that you deserve the good in life, right? This card says, I... As long as you are being good in life, as long as you're treating yourself good and others good, right? Of course, if you're not treating yourself good or others good, you're not going to feel worthy because you're not pouring that value out into your experience or into yourself. So we got worthiness showing up here. And this card says, I am worthy of ultimate happiness. I deserve it and accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If he asked about it, I'll be like, no, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly. So you're worthy. And I feel like if you're dealing with someone in a relationship that's making you feel like you're not worthy of good things and they're telling you you'll never have this or you're, you're nothing without me, whatever the case may be, you have to let this person go, cut them off and move forward and not feel guilty about it. Not feel guilty because you're, you're stepping into a new version of yourself. A version of yourself that loves yourself regardless of what anybody says. A version of yourself that's going to put yourself first and love on yourself and not really expect it from the outside world first. Even though as children, we've been given that luxury of being loved before we loved ourselves for real. But it's like you got to realize that you are worthy of great things. You are worthy for goodness to come into your life. No matter what it is that you have been through, you need to accept yourself and accept your level of worthiness. So I'm going to leave this reading here. My lovely Leos, if you do resonate with this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below in the comment section if you want to chat with me about anything going on in your experience or if you just want to send some gratitude my way. I'm so grateful for y'all. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.